Hello and welcome. My name is Eberethwin Arvinlo, and I'm a blogger and photographer for Second Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do line art for your Second Life photos. This will work for any photo, but I'm specifically um, tailoring this to Second Life photos. I know that this works in Photoshop. I do not know if there is a similar function in GIMP, but typically there is. So hopefully this will work for GIMP users as well. Line art is exactly what it sounds like. It's where you add lines around your artwork to create more defined styles, to create the anime look. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why you might want to do this, but in Second Life Photography it's most commonly used to add the lines that you see in some of the photos on Flickr where people look like they've redrawn their photos. So this is part of that process. And there's a lot of different ways to do this, but the easy way is to use the pin tool in Photoshop and you don't need a tablet or anything to do this. So I'm going to first select the kind of brush that I want to use for my photo. So you're going to probably do some trial and error finding your brush for the first time before you see what works for you. Now I have these lowish brushes which are drawing brushes which I'm pretty sure I got from DeviantArt but it's been a while so I don't quite remember. But there's a bunch of cool brushes for drawing in DeviantArt, so you could go and grab some brushes from there and add them to your Photoshop. So I'm going to use the cover pen to do uh, my drawing, but there's all different sorts of things that you can use. So I'm going to use this cover pen one uh, pixel spacing. So now that I have that selected, I also want to select the size and the color that I'm going to use because your pen tool is going to use whatever your brush has selected to create the line that you make. So right now I have this as my my line. So it's a brown color and it has this pen. So you can just sort of draw on your photo and see if you like what it looks like. So now how I select my color for the line is typically I will take my dropper tool and I'll go nearby where I want to make the line and I'll select that color and then I'll darken it just a little bit. So I'll darken this color to a little bit sort of darker shade. And then I'm going to make a new layer so that I don't do this directly on my main layer. So here's my new layer and I'm going to use the pin tool. So down here you find the pin tool. You want the pin tool selected for the first part of this. So what you're going to do is set up points uh, along your face. So you actually only need to set up like maybe three points to start with. So I'm going to start under my ear, make a point. Then I'm going to do one in the center of my chin, make a point. And I'm going to do another one on the under of my other side. So I've got this and that's not the kind of line I want. So I'm going to add anchors to my line. So I'm going to hold the pin tool and I'm going to choose the add anchor point tool. So now what I can do is I can add anchors to my thing. So you'll click and add an anchor when you're hovering over the line and then release your button and then click and hold and drag. So I'm clicking and holding and dragging. So basically you want to just outline the area that you're trying to adjust. So I'm going to need another one here probably. Click and release and click and hold and drag it down. So this also may take a little try on the error. So you see here, this um, isn't all the way down. You don't want to put them too close together because then you're going to start um, maybe having little wavy lines. You want them to be as far apart as possible. So I try and do them sort of in the middle, click and release, and then click and hold and pull it down. If you don't click and then release, it's going to start pulling on these here which mess up your line, so you don't want to play around too much with that. So you click and release, and then I'm going to add another point here, and I'm going to drag it down. This may not be perfect, but it'll do for what we're trying to achieve. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to right click in the area where my pin tool is, and then it's going to pull up this menu. Then I'm going to choose stroke path, and it will pull up these options. So you can do all of these types of things. So what we want to do is we want to choose brush. So that will take your current brush and it will use your current brush to draw the line that you've created. And then we want to make sure we have simulate pressure selected because that will make it look more like artwork. It'll look like you have the pressure of the pen. So I've got brush, 
and simulate pressure is checked, then I'll click OK. So now it's created my line. So if I now hover back over this and right click it, I can delete the path and then I have my line. So then I can change my opacity, I can make it lighter, I can make it barely present, I can make it all the way dark, whatever I want to do with it, I can play around with it. And if you find that you don't like the way your line looks, you may just want to change your brush and then you'll have a different look. So this may be not the perfect brush for this. Maybe I want to use something that's a little bit softer, but the concept is there. And since I chose the pressure button when I did that, it made the edges look nice and fine. So you end up with the line art that you see in all of those flicker photos that people do. So you can do this all over your body. For the sake of this tutorial, I only showed you the one body part, but you could do this anywhere. If you wanted to take the whole body and do the whole thing, you could do that too. So you could draw a line here, fit it to the leg, draw a line here, fit it to the leg. Basically anywhere you want to do the line art, you can do it. So that's it. That's the quick and easy tutorial. You can also um, make when you do this, you can also change the color if you don't like it by going to Control u the Hue Saturation menu. So if you think the hue is a little bit off or you want it to be darker or lighter, you could do that too. So there's a lot of versatility. Just make sure you do it on a separate layer when you do it. And that is that. It is easy as that to do some line art for your photos. So if you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to put a message on the video, send me a message on Plurk, on Flickr, or in Second Life, and if you have any suggestions, you can do the same. So thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.